Hello! In the last video, we made something really, really cool. We were able to make our bot send messages at specific times. But in this video, we will be doing something even cooler. We will be using command arguments to allow the user to schedule messages. So now, the user can choose what message they want to send, when they want to send the message, and in which channel they want to send it. It also allows the bot to be used for different purposes. It could be anything from wishing a friend a happy birthday to reminding yourself to take a break from work. Okay, so what is our command going to look like? Well, essentially what the user is going to type is something like this. Dog daily, and then a message, for example, good morning, and then the time at which the user wants to send the message. So, let's do 8, 30, and 0 seconds. So, in this case, this is the command prefix, this is the command name, and this is the command arguments. So, what we need our program to do is read the command arguments. So, let's start off by creating a command named daily. And the syntax should be pretty similar to what you've seen in my previous videos. But you'll notice something a bit different. Here, we use a different syntax. Here, instead of just saying my string, we have a colon and then a string. And this is something called converters. And the reason we have this converter is to make sure we read this value as a string. And for our minute and seconds, we read these values as integers by using the integer converter. So using just this three lines of code, we were able to read in the arguments. But before we call the schedule daily message function, we need to tell the user that, okay, this is what you requested and ask the user for a confirmation. So to do that, we need to display the time and to display the time in a fancy way, we can use the daytime module. So all we're doing is creating a daytime.time object and formatting the time in a string. And then we just send a message telling the user that, okay, this message is going to be sent at this time every day in this channel. And this is the daily message, so confirm by just simply saying yes. Also, what if the user taps in something that is out of range? So for example, instead of putting an R that is in between 0 and 24, what if the user taps in something like 26? So what we can do is, if the user types in a wrong argument, then we can raise an error. And when that error is raised, we can catch that error and tell the user that they entered the wrong argument. And we can also tell the user the correct way to use the command. Cool, so what we're doing here is really simple. If the user types in something that is not correct or not within the range for a minute or second, then we raise an error uh, called bad argument. And once we raise that error, that error can be caught in this function. So at daily.error, and we have ever as an argument and all we're doing here is checking if ever is an instance of commands dot bad argument and if it is then that means the user typed in a bad argument so in that case all we need to do is send a message to the user telling them that they typed in a bad argument and this is the right way for them to use the command so now let's just test our code. So when we go on Discord and type, let's say, dog daily, good morning, and let's do 1030 zero. 
so yeah, we get a message telling the user that this is what they want, and they can just confirm by simply saying yes. But what if we type in 26 for the R? We get a message from the bot saying incorrect format, and this is the right way to use the bot. So what if we do the same thing for a minute, a second? Well, we should get the same output from Dogbot. Cool, so our program seems to be working. Before we do anything further with the daily function though, I just want to get something out of the way. So in the last video we worked on the scheduled daily message function, but we need to make some changes to it so that we can use it in this video. And also, there was one issue with the function we created the last time, and the problem was there are some cases where the message would be sent one day late. So if a user types in the command, the daily message would start from the very next day instead of the current day. So we can just fix that issue right now. So what we're doing is we're basically saying that we want to add one day to then only if then is less than now. So then is the date and time when we want to send the message. And that is obviously supposed to be the future. So if then is less than now, our program is not going to work. So to fix that, we can just add one day so that then would be the day after. But when then is already after now, we don't need to add the one day. And also we have this line of code to basically make sure that then and now never have the same value. Because if they do have the same value, then asyncio.sleep is going to wait for just 0 seconds. And when that happens, the daily message is going to be sent 2 times. Now to use the schedule daily message function based on user inputs, we want to have arguments for the function and replace all these values with arguments. So if we go here, we see that we told the user to confirm by simply saying yes. So what we need our program to do is wait for the user to send a message. And after the user sends a message, we just need to read that message and check if it is yes. Now, first off, I know that might look like a lot of code, but don't worry, it's actually really simple. So essentially what we're doing here is we're using the wait underscore for function to make the bot wait for a message. And if the user does not send a message within 60 seconds, then the program goes here and we just send the user a message saying you took too long to respond. And the reason we have this is to basically make sure that the bot doesn't detect its own message as a message from the user. So now we can just run our code and see if everything works. So right now it's 11.55 p.m. and we can do dog daily 23 56 0 and the message can be good night. Oh wait, now it's line 56. Um, I'll do line 56 30 seconds. And now I just type yes, daily message is now starting. So in a few seconds we should get a message from Dogbot saying good night. Nice, we got the message. You know the funny thing is I'm actually gonna go sleep now, so yeah, good night. Cause yeah it's pretty late. Wait, I have something important to say. Why haven't you subscribed yet? I mean, you've come so far in the video and you haven't subscribed? Look, it's 100% free, you won't miss out on new videos, and you'll help other coders find my channel. Also, make sure you hit the bell icon when you subscribe because then you'll get a notification every time I upload a new video. Okay, yeah, that's it. Bye.